Hello, everyone, and welcome to For You. My name is Reese. I'm jiggling. And today it's my favorite topic of all time. This is the article I've been waiting for. Oh, okay. What is it? Fun facts about dogs and cats. Cool.、Yes. You have a lot of cats, right? Or have one? You just have one. I I live with two cats.、Okay. One of them is mine. And she's the best thing. I just love.、Aww. You've heard me talking about Ponyo so often on this show.、Mm-hmm. Do you have any pets? I have a corgi. A corgi. Baby that hasn't turned one yet. Oh, so small and cute. Yeah. Well, people often talk about having cats and dogs、mm-hmm. and referring to themselves as being a dog person or a cat person,、mm-hmm. as in someone that prefers dogs or cats. You have a dog. Are you a dog person? Yes, I am definitely. But you know, back in college, I used to have a cat. So maybe I could be a cat person sometimes,、hmm. but well, I just now I have a dog. <laughs> I think most people have a preference. Yeah, I honestly don't tell my cat I said this. I'm probably a dog person, <laughs> but living in Taipei, I feel like I don't really have time or space for a dog.、Uh, so I have a cat,、true. and I have a Siamese cat,、Aww. and their personalities are very dog-like.、Aww. So it's the best of both worlds. Okay. Well, let's learn some interesting information about our furry little friends. Reading. Fun facts. Most of us love the dogs and cats in our lives. Sometimes, though, the things they do leave us confused. Luckily, animal experts know the reasons for many of our pets' odd habits. Let's learn about a few of them. We begin with man's best friend, dogs. You probably have seen dogs stick their nose or even their head out the window on a car ride. This isn't just because they like the wind in their face; it's also about dogs' great sense of smell. They get a blast of smells and sights every time they put their head out the window of a moving car. This shows how much they love new experiences. After a dog is done exploring. It likes nothing more than to curl up for a good sleep, but dogs have a strange habit of circling a few times before they lie down. This helps them get comfortable, but it's also about protection. In the wild, dogs would dig a small hole to sleep in. Curling into a ball keeps them warm and protects their soft bellies. Okay, let's read our article. It begins by saying, "Most of us love the dogs and cats in our lives. Sometimes, though, the things they do leave us confused." Yeah, I can definitely <laughs> agree with that. My cat does some very strange things. So, what about this word "confused"? Well, feeling confused means you're unable to think clearly. Something is difficult to understand, and you can't quite work it out. We might feel confused when we face a difficult question in a test, or if something happens and we don't know why or how.、Mm. It's not a terribly good feeling to be confused.、Nah. Here's an example sentence: All the roads looked the same, and Sam felt thoroughly confused. So confused 就是迷惑的、不解的。那它的动词我们只要把 d 拿掉，就变 confuse。那我们可以说 to confuse a with b， 就是把 a 混淆成 b 的意思。那它有另外一个字呢。如果你是说一件事情让你很困惑，就是 confusing。我们可以造一个例句 ：We got lost since the road signs were too confusing。那它的名词就是 confusion， 就是困惑。那文章的意思就是说，大部分的人呢喜欢狗跟猫，但是有时候呢，他们做的事情我们其实都不知道为什么。Yeah, well, let's explore some of that strange behavior. The article continues with, luckily, animal experts know the reasons for many of our pets' odd habits. Yeah, well, people have been studying、mm-hmm. animals for a long time and why they do the things they do, and these people are experts. An expert is a noun, and an expert is somebody who is very, very good at a particular thing, or they have a lot of knowledge about that thing. So, to become an expert at something, you need to spend a very long time learning and doing that thing. You could be an expert at anything. You could be an expert piano player, 
an expert biologist, or an expert gamer like me. <laughs> Here's an example sentence: <laughs> Experts are saying that the economy is likely to improve towards the end of this year. That's good. Right. So expert 就是专家。那老师刚刚有讲到 to be an expert at something， 或者你可以把 at 用 in 或 on 来代替，代表你是什么东西的专家。比如说 ，My brother is an expert at making sauces.、Mm. 那老师刚刚有讲到什么 expert gamer， right？ 那我们就可以说 expert， 把它当成形容词，就是很内行的，或也可以用刚刚的 to be expert at doing something。比如说 ，an expert cook， 很专业的厨师，或者是 expert advice。What are you an expert of, Chicklin? You're a good singer, right? Yeah, <laughs> I was. No, I wasn't gonna say that, but maybe drawing. Sometimes I draw in my free time. Drawing, 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 drawing. Yes. I've never seen your pictures. You need to show me. Yeah, I will. I will next time. Cool. <laughs> The no, another word that we should talk about is the word odd, O D D, and O-D-D. it's an adjective that means strange or unusual. If something is odd, it is different from everything else, or different from the way that you would expect it to be.、Mm-hmm. Some people call me odd. That can be a little <laughs> crazy sometimes. I don't think you are. Okay, thank you. An example sentence: Reynolds was an odd choice to host the show. He's too shy. Odd 就是奇怪的意思。那么 odd 这个字呢，也可以当单数的，所以单数我们就可以说 odd numbers 就是奇数的。那它也可以当单个的或不成对的。可能你穿两双袜，不，你穿一双袜子，可是两只不一样，我们就可以说 He was wearing odd socks, one blue and one green. 那么 odd 这个字呢，加上一个 s 就会变成 odds， 就是几率的意思。比如说你要说哇，怎么这么巧啊？英文就可以说 What are the odds? 所以很幸运的是呢，动物专家知道我们的宠物这些奇怪行为的原因。Sorry, you were going to say something, right? I was going to talk about how odd my cat is. Ah, okay. Can you tell us about it? She does odd things like some, like you know, cats usually don't like belly rubs.、Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. She loves belly rubs. Oh wow. She'll like present herself and be like, "Rub my belly." Sometimes they get mad if you like rub it for too long. She,、right? she never does. She loves、oh, wow. it. Very odd、cool. cat. Well, the article continues with. Let's learn about a few of them. We begin with man's best friend, dogs. Oh, my favorite! So today's 文章呢要来讨论一些原因哦。我们先从人类最好的朋友开始，就是 dogs， 狗狗。Yeah, we have this phrase in English, man's best friend, and that is always referring to dogs、yeah. because I think dogs have been like the oldest pets that humans have had. Yeah, yeah, very cute.、Mm-hmm. Well, the article tells us more. It says you probably have seen dogs stick their nose or even their head out of the window on a car ride. So cute. I know. They stick out, 就是伸出、探出来的意思。所以，我们开车呢，带狗狗去玩啊，就会发现狗狗喜欢把他们的鼻子或者是头探出窗外。Does your corgi do this? Yeah, sometimes.、Oh, so cute.、Mm-hmm. Well, the article tells us about maybe why they do this. This isn't just because they like the wind in their face. It's also about dogs' great sense of smell. So they do this because they like the wind in their face. It's also about dogs' great sense of smell. So they do this because they like the wind in their face. It's also about dogs' great sense of smell. So they do this because they like the wind in their face. It's also about dogs' great sense of smell. So they do this because they like the wind in their face. Hmm. 所以 blast 就是有气流啊、风的意思。所以这边 a blast of something 就是一阵风的感觉，或一阵什么东西。所以每次呢，他们头伸出去呢，就会感到一股跟呃很多气味跟视觉的享受的感觉。所以他们很喜欢。嗯、hmm. ， we can also use the word blast in a less formal way. We can use it to mean a really good time. Like I had a blast. Exactly.、Oh, yeah. Yeah.、Really、like、true. last night's party was a blast. Just, just means it was really good. Okay, it was really fun. Yeah. Well, the article tells us more. This shows how much they love new experiences. Hmm. So from here, you can see that your dog loves new experiences. It's new experiences. Hmm. Next, the article says that after a dog is done exploring, it likes nothing more than to curl up for a good sleep. Hmm. Let's talk about a word here. The word explore. The word explore is a verb, and to explore means to travel through an unfamiliar place to learn more about it. 
Hundreds of years ago, explorers would discover new places by traveling around the world in a boat. You can explore smaller places too. As a kid, I used to love exploring the woods and forests around my hometown. It was really, really fun. Here's an example sentence with explore. Venice is a wonderful city to explore. 所以 explore 就是探索的意思啊、哦。我们可以 explore space， 就是太空，或者是大自然的 nature， 或者是一个国家 to explore a country， 就是国家的意思。或者它的名词就是 exploration。那我们可以说 an ex exploration of something， 就是去探究一件事情或什么事情的勘察。比如说 the scientist in encountered many difficulties during the exploration. 那接下来呢，我们又看到另外一个片语，就是 nothing more than something， 就是仅仅什么，只不过是。Right. So nothing more than means that that thing is the best. Nothing else can compare to it, whatever that superlative is. What about that phrase to curl up, Chicklin? 就是蜷曲或者卷成一团的意思。所以狗狗呢，它们探索完之后，就会很想整个人卷起来，然后好好的睡一下。Mm, sometimes I use this phrase for myself. <laughs> like in the winter when it's cold and I get home, I just want to curl up on the sofa with hot chocolate and a good movie. I know with marshmallows and the hot、mm. chocolate. I know you don't like it, but I do. I love hot chocolates. I、so、do, yeah.、Good. Well, the article tells us more. It says, but dogs have a strange habit of circling a few times before they lie down. Yeah, I've noticed this.、Mm-hmm. Does your corgi do that as well? Sometimes, but not a lot.、Hmm. He usually just like, okay, I'm gonna lie down, and he just. <laughs> yeah. But、well, I've definitely seen dogs、uh, do this. When I was younger, I had a golden retriever called Oliver, and he would just spin in a circle like ten times before settling down. <laughs> he would circle around. Circle is usually a noun, a round circle, but circle can also be used as a verb. As it is in the article,、mm-hmm. so to circle around something means to move around it in a circle or to spin around.、Mm. For example, the plane circled the airport before landing. All right, so the circle is the verb to move, 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 走来走跳的话，那英文就是 he moves in the highest circles of society. 那当然有另外一个片语就是 go around in circles， 或者是 run around in circles， 代表你很白忙。所以你可以讲 we've got to solve the problem instead of going around in circles. Right. If you just go around in a circle forever, you're never getting anything done.、Mm. Just doing the same thing over and over.、Mm-hmm. Vicious cycle. Well,、circle. we also have this phrase to lie down. I feel like lying down sometimes. <laughs> to lie down just means to position your body horizontally so that you can rest. Yeah, so it is to lie down. So these dogs are very strange. They have a very cute habit, which is that they lie down before they lie down. Hmm. 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 But it's also about protection. Okay, so how can a dog spinning around in a circle protect it? Well, before we learn that, let's talk about the word protection. Protection is a noun with the verb form being to protect. The noun form is the act of protecting someone or the state of being protected by someone else. If someone is protecting you. Or giving you protection, they are keeping you safe、uh, and stopping you from being hurt. So when you're young, your parents will protect you from many different things.、Mm. <laughs> What about the other sentence that we can make? An example、protection? sentence with protection.、Mm-hmm. In the 19th century, the law gave women very little protection. From violent husbands. Yeah, so protection 这个单词就是保护的意思。那它的动词呢是 protect。老师刚刚都有讲嘛，老师刚刚也有用到 to protect A from or against B 的用法，就是保护 A 免受于 B 的伤害。比如说 ，the coat will protect you from the cold. 
、呃，代表说呢，他的那个大衣可以保护你，不要那么冷哦。嗯、那我们文章的意思是说，你躺下之前转圈圈，这个狗狗这样子做是因为他们会很舒适，然后也有保护自己的感觉。嗯 ，So how can this protect dogs? Well, the article explains. In the wild, dogs would dig a small hole to sleep in. Oh, so if in the wild, dogs would dig a small hole to sleep in, getting all cozy. Yep, and curling into a ball keeps them warm and protects their soft bellies. So cute! I know, so cute. 好啦，那我们来讲一下今天的句型哦，就是 find or leave or keep。怎么样？后面接一个受词，再加上受词补语的用法，那它是要来补充说明受词的状态哦。那 find 有发现啊、觉得的意思，那如果是用 leave 跟 keep， 就变成有保持的意思，使什么东西保持什么状态。那通常呢，搭配上面的动词的受词补语，会有现在分词哦，或过去分词、名词片语、形容词或介系词片语等等。那我们也。呃，通常呢，我们会以受词跟受词补语为主。那被动关系呢，决定后面来接分词还是过去分词。我们直接看一下句子就会很清楚喽，不用背上面那么多，但一定要会造句子。我们先看第一个 ，Dad went into the kitchen and found the kids eating all the cookies。代表爸爸走进厨房之后呢，发现孩子们把饼干都吃光了。那因为这边呢，吃饼干，小孩子是自己去吃哦，不是被吃饼干，所以我们就用主动。那第二个句子是 Please leave my office locked when while I'm away on vacation. 就是呢，我在放假的期间呢，请帮我把办公室上锁。那因为 office 要被锁嘛，不会自己锁，所以我们就要用 locked。所以 belly 就是肚子的意思。那狗狗呢，它们就会蜷曲成球状，这样呢可以帮助它们保暖，然后保护它们很可爱的肚子。Mm. My dog, when I was younger, also used to spin around in a circle just before he pooped. Have you seen that before? <laughs> yes, my corgi does that every day. It's w- so cute. I wonder why they do that. They just like he would spin really fast, and then he、okay. would stop and then poop. Every time, maybe he just wants to make sure like everything is clear around him. Yeah, make sure nobody's gonna come attack him whilst、yeah. he's pooping. <laughs> well, anyway, that's the end of day one for this article. But we've still got our for you chat question to talk about, so let's do that now. For you chat. So today's for you chat question is this. What do you do to feel comfortable before you sleep? Do other people in your class do something different? What about you, Chicklin? Ah,、uh, well, I usually give myself a full body massage before I go to bed. It's really relaxing, and I you make... give yourself yeah, not like full body, but like my arms, my um, my legs,、wow. and my neck. You know, just like with your own hands, just kind of, and with my some of my lotion. Wow! And、um, I make myself hot chocolate or、mm. hot tea, a cup of hot tea,、uh, and, and what what else do I do? I sometimes watch movies. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? I do that too. <laughs> well, if I know that I don't have to leave the house again after I've gotten home from work or、uh-huh. school, I know I, I will get straight into my dressing gown. You know, something、oh, warm、yeah. and soft.、Mm-hmm. And then, just before going to bed, I'll often read a book or maybe watch a movie.、Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have a bad habit of playing video games, just like in bed as well. It's not the best. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Overcooked. Yeah, overcooked. I, I love、know. that game. I know.、Uh, but I think the last thing I do before I actually go to sleep is cuddle with my kitty. Oh. Yeah, she sleeps with me every night. That's so cute. So cute.、Mm-hmm. You guys can think about this question too. What do you do before you go to bed? Do you have some kind of routine to make? Getting to sleep a bit easier, and I think everybody has their own habits.、Mm-hmm. But for now, we're going to say goodbye. I'm Reese. I'm Chickling. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Vocabulary review. Confused. Jenny was very confused by the street sign. So she went the wrong way and got lost. Expert. The doctor is famous for being an expert in treating rare diseases. Odd. It is odd that the lights in the old house are on because no one lives there. 
Explore. Tim and his friend decided to explore the mountain because they had never been there before. Circle. The lions circled the helpless deer before attacking and killing it. Protection. Sally's umbrella offered some protection against the rain, although she still got a little bit wet. 智慧小补帖 Blast. Curl up. Belly. The show is produced by Hua Yong Radio Broadcasting. Hua Yong Radio Broadcasting, please search for all major bookstores in the U.S. If you desire to purchase books, please call 02-2364-4000. 零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。